Hey Bulldogs, I'm so excited to come to you today to give you all the different ways, tell you all the different ways that we're going to celebrate all of your accomplishments this school year. We're going to try to stick with the end of school calendar as close as we can to uh, celebrate your accomplishments through activity uh, assemblies, awards assemblies, and I'm going to talk to you about graduation, all the different end of year activities. Uh, one of the first ones that's going to occur is Tuesday, April 28th. Rivers Elementary is going to have a purple up parade beginning at 2.30. All the elementaries are going to do a goodbye parade. Uh, we'll begin those on April 28th with Rivers. On Thursday, April 30th, AECC will have a drive-by goodbye from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Monday, May 4th, Altus Elementary School will have a drive-by goodbye from 5 to 6.30 Tuesday, May 5th, Altus High School is going to have a virtual honors assembly at 6 p.m. Thursday, May 7th, Primary will have their drive-by goodbye from 5 to 6.30. Tuesday, May 12th, Altus Intermediate School will have their virtual activities assembly at 2 p.m. Thursday, May 14th, Altus Junior High will have a virtual activities assembly at 2 p.m. Sunday, May 17th, the virtual class of 2020 will have their baccalaureate, and the time is to do, be determined right now. Monday, May 18th, Altus Intermediate School will have their virtual honors assembly at 5.30 p.m. Tuesday, May 19th, Altus High School virtual scholarship assembly will be at 9 a.m. Tuesday, May 19th, Altus Junior High will have their virtual honors assembly at 5.30 p.m. Also on Tuesday, May 19th, Altus High School All Sports Virtual Reception will be at 6.30 p.m. Thursday, May 21st, Altus High School will have their virtual senior farewell. The time is to, to be determined. And then also for all Altus Public School faculty and staff, we will have our uh, Altus Public School Virtual End of Year Assembly that we usually have, and that time is to be determined. Some of these will be live virtually, but most of them will be recorded and then you'll be able to watch them over and over. We're so excited about all the opportunities. They are all going to be virtual, but we wanted to be able to highlight the school year that we've had, a fantastic school year. It didn't necessarily end the way we wanted it, but we're going to end it as best we can. We want to honor all the students with all their activities, all the awards, all the scholarships that they've received. We want to be able to showcase them, show the community, and through uh, the internet and Facebook and all the different avenues that we have, we're going to showcase you to the world of all the things that you've done. We're very excited about it. You'll get more in-depth detail about all of these events. They'll be on the individual school websites and Facebooks. They'll be on Altus Public Schools website and Facebooks. And then we'll also send out uh, messages through uh, different avenues like the texting, the phone calls, uh, and Schoology, things like that. So you'll be getting lots more information. Uh, today what I'm giving you is just an overview, uh, a bird's eye view of what's going to happen. And then later on in the next week or so, you'll get much more detail. One of the things I'm very, very excited about is Altus High School graduation. There's been a lot of uh, questions about how we're going to do that, but the uh, high school administration and the counselors have come up with a fantastic idea, and I'm so excited about it. We've met with uh, Chief Tim Murphy with the uh, police, uh, Altus PD, and also Mayor Jack Smiley, and also the city manager, uh, Mr. Jones, Gary Jones. And they're all in agreement, and we're all going to be able to do this, even with all the different uh, situations that have gone on. They're going to let us do what we want to do. And so what's going to happen is uh, it's going to be the night that graduation was supposed to be, which is Friday, May 22nd. We're going to have our graduation ceremony. So that way, if you want to participate, please get you a cap and gown. If you can't get a cap and gown, please email myself or your counselor or call, you can email me at rwarbus at altusps.com or call me at 580-471-0236. We want every senior to participate that wants to participate. What's gonna happen is on that afternoon of the 22nd, we're gonna close off all of the streets coming into the high school. And we're gonna have 
a drive-by graduation. I've had lots of uh, positive uh, information given to me from all walks of life, students, parents, grandparents, people had all kinds of ideas. So the high school got together and this is our plan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drive in from uh, Park Lane, we're gonna come to the cafeteria, you're gonna pick up your uh, card that you would have had anyway with your name on it. You're gonna do an obstacle course through all of our parking lots around by the auditorium. You're gonna come up the front of the high school and the front two or the front doors in the middle of the high school by the clock we're going to have the stage set up and at that stage uh, we are going to have our ceremony so uh, as you pull up there'll be faculty and staff scattered throughout the whole uh, process by the weight uh, room where the garage door is there's going to be counselors or faculty there and they will give you your diploma then you'll work your way on around and when you get to the front they're going to allow only the students to get out, will socially distance, and uh, we're going to have the ceremony as close to as it would have been regularly. We're going to have our prayer, we're going to have our speeches from our uh, valedictorian and salutatorian, we're going to have our songs, those will be pre-recorded, the band is going to do the processional, uh, so we're going to try to do it as closely as that night as possible. So. The first 10 cars will be our top 10 so that they can give, the ones that give their speeches can give their speeches on stage. Uh, we'll do it just like it would have been that night. And then once we actually start uh, giving out the diplomas, the, you'll walk across the stage, you're gonna probably fist bump myself and maybe uh, Ms. Holder, the assistant superintendent, and uh, Mr. Martin, the principal. And then one of the board members will give you your diploma. We're gonna have everyone, you're gonna have a glove. You'll be given a glove. The uh, uh, board member will also have sanitizer and all that. They'll give you your diploma. You'll take your picture like we always do. Ms. Garrison has volunteered again to uh, take the pictures of the seniors as they receive their diploma. You'll walk off. You'll get back in your car. And then we're going to line up at the stop light at the end of Park Avenue. And once the seniors, we're going to keep it rolling as quickly as we can. Parents, we would love for you to ride the cars if you'd like to. We've asked. We've talked to the police. We need everyone to stay in the car except for the student. And we're going to line up the cars four wide all the way up Park Avenue. And then once most of the seniors or maybe all of the seniors have gone across the stage, got their picture taken, got back in their car, then uh, the police and some, we're going to use some of our out the new buses that the uh, citizens have voted for us with the bond and we're going to have a parade. So we're going to have a graduation and a parade. We're going to celebrate you uh, for all the major accomplishments that you've had. So uh, the police, hopefully the mayor is going to be there, uh, fire department, they're going to lead the parade and once it starts it'll go uh, to, from uh, Park Avenue down Broadway to Maine, and then we're going to go all the way up Maine to WSC, to Western Oklahoma State College, and that's where it will end. So as we get closer, we'll talk to our public, and we're hoping that they will celebrate with us uh, and park along the route, maybe flash their lights, honk their horn. No one can get out of the cars. Everyone has to stay in the cars, so we were able to do this because uh, it was an ordinance that we could not have a parade, but they graciously let us do this. So we really need to go by all the rules, everyone stay in the cars, uh, but we do want to celebrate you. Also we're very excited, the Oklahoma Sports Network is going to broadcast it live for us. So uh, Oklahoma Sports Network will be here, we'll get that information out as well. So as you're in the parade and as you're sitting in your car, you can watch it on your phone or a device or just listen to it on your phone and anyone across the world can on Roku or all the different avenues, your computer will tell you all the different ways you can do that, but you can watch your parents, grandparents, relatives from in town, away from town, you can watch it on uh, TV or on their device. And also it'll be recorded and it'll be stored for a year. So you can either purchase it or you can just watch it for a year. But again, the high school counselors and the administration have really worked hard for this idea. I'm so pumped about it, I'm excited about it. Hopefully you are. Don't stress about the details. We're going to get that to you. But be uh, 
confident and reassured that we are going to celebrate you, the graduating class of 2020. You'll have your uh, senior board up here uh, shortly. Uh, we're so excited about it. And again, we'll get more information out to you. But stay bulldog strong. Everything's going great. We sure do love you and miss you. And it's going to be a great night, graduation night. Thank you.